What's happening guys, Sam Adams here and welcome back to another episode of On The Topic Of. And as you can tell by the background behind me, we are still talking about E3 2018 because this is pretty much the concluding video. This is the cherry on top of all of the coverage that I've done for this year's show. Uh, of course, before we get into that, I want to thank everybody that is new to the channel. I want to thank everybody that has taken the time to check out the content that I've made over the past week or so, or at any point in my entire YouTube career. Uh, whatever you want to say, I really just have enjoyed this show and I like being able to prove that I'm good at covering shows. Uh, like this and I think it's going to look good on a resume that's why I do things every year that's why I do YouTube and streaming and all of that because it simply is going to prove that I have worth uh, in the industry that I want to go into so if you know anybody at IGN if you know anybody at GameSpot or any other outlet that needs a dude that is looking for a job in about a year or so by all means hit your boy up however right now we're going to be talking about who won E3 there's always somebody that wins E3 uh, but of course there are a lot of people out there that say all oh, the gamers win E3 the people that play the games are the ones that win E3 you're kind of right, but at the end of the day, there's always a company that puts on a better presentation, shows off more games, does a better job overall of generating excitement, and that is the person or the company or whatever you want to call it that wins E3. And for me this year, that was definitely Bethesda. Some people would say that Xbox, Nintendo, and PlayStation are on a different kind of tier as compared to your Ubisoft, your EA, uh, your Square Enix, and all those other companies. And I would say that you're right, uh, but in grouping them all together and judging all of the conferences equally, everything that was shown off at E3, Bethesda Bethesda still takes the cake because of the games that were shown off, the way they were presented, uh, the general excitement coming out of the gaming community. It was amazing to see what they were able to pull off at this year's E3 show uh, because of the sheer scope of games that were revealed to begin with because at the end of the day, it all does come back to what games are being presented. Uh, we had things like Elder Scrolls Blades, a brand new mobile game that will eventually come to VR and also on the consoles, uh, and I would just, yeah, they said PC as well, but the way that it works is that it's not necessarily an open Open world yet it could be an open world in the future uh, but it's pretty much a dungeon clearing kind of game where you'll have between 10 and 15 minutes to kill and you can just jump in and play something that is pretty much the core essence of what Elder Scrolls is as a franchise which is amazing uh, on top of that we saw a big reveal like Doom Eternal and of course they finished off the show with things like your uh, Starlink a brand new IP coming from Bethesda the first one in 25 years and on top of that the Elder Scrolls 6 because you can't just give us the mobile game they had to come through with with the Big Daddy Elder Scrolls 6, which absolutely blew everyone's minds. Now that is not to say that other conferences were not amazing as well. Xbox was very impressive. They showed off a lot of stuff that was third party, uh, but on top of that, the exclusives that were shown off, I mean, we had Gears of War 5 and Halo 6. Those are two big console sellers right there. And we also had the reveal of a brand new Xbox, not necessarily the debut and showing off of a new Xbox, but we did see the reveal or a tease of what was going to be coming down the pipe with the next generation of consoles. And so that's a very exciting thing as well. And of course they concluded their show with Cyberpunk. Punk 2077, so I couldn't exactly make this video without giving a tip of the hat to Xbox and saying they did a fantastic job with their show, and I would say it's the best Xbox conference that I personally have ever seen in all of my years of watching E3, which dates back to around 2006. Now, I would say the ones that dropped the ball the most were definitely Electronic Arts and also Nintendo. Nintendo probably taking the lead in that one because they showed off pretty much a couple of games that were going to be big sellers, uh, but nothing that everybody wanted to see. We needed more of the Metroid Prime 4 stuff. Uh, we needed to see more of those core experiences that were revealed. I would have loved to see some Pokemon gameplay, something along those lines that wasn't the Let's Go series that's coming out this year. I'm talking about the mainline Pokemon thing. Uh, of course, I'm not deeply invested in the Nintendo community. I'm not big on Switch itself, but to see more stuff from Nintendo would have been nice. Uh, however, Electronic Arts was fine, but there was nothing that was really amazing about the show. We saw more Battlefield 5 for a brief couple of minutes, which was impressive. We saw more of Anthem, which brought some questions, but of course on Twitter they've been very active been answering those uh, questions and trying to give people answers. Uh, so I'm pretty pleased with what I saw from EA, but the show itself didn't really have an impact. Uh, as far as the other shows go, it was relatively uh, fine. I mean, PlayStation showed off your your Spider-Man. They showed off some Last of Us 2, which looks fantastic. Ghost of Tsushima looks amazing. A lot of great games at this year's show, but when it comes down to it, although everybody did fairly well, except for Nintendo, unless you like Smash, uh, then I would say that Bethesda, by all means, kind of took the show and really blew people's minds, and that is why they're getting my conference of the year at E3 2018, I guess, if that's the award we're giving. Uh, but they did very well, and I'm very excited about the future of Bethesda and what they have in store, because I cannot wait to get my hands on Fallout 76. Give that a shot. Um, nah, I mean, Elder Scrolls Blades, that's going to be a big mobile game that is going to eventually come to VR and PC and consoles and have cross-play support with all of them. What is that 
Madness. Uh, to see Doom Eternal, I love Doom. There are so many amazing franchises and so many amazing games uh, that are coming out of Bethesda Game Studios that you can't help but be pretty pumped up about that. And I mean, Rage 2, although it does look very similar to Bulletstorm, Still kind of excited about that, even after seeing that gameplay. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think that I am wrong? Do you think another company won E3, if you will? Uh, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you are new to the channel, I do upload new stuff throughout the week. And I have a morning show that I stream live weekday mornings at 7 a.m. Eastern Time, where I go over the hottest gaming news of the day and keep you guys up to date on everything that is going on. But as for right now, I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I will dog you soon. Peace.